Yeah, servus everybody! Today I'm going to show you five tips on how to stop sounding like a beginner. Here we go! All right, tip number one is playing the crash on every one, in every bar at any opportunity and this one whoo this is this one is quite annoying so yeah let's um hear how it sounds like instead of playing the crash symbol on every one you could do it every four or even eight bars and uh, in between you could use your hi-hat to you know place some of the accents it could sound something like this Tip number two would be playing a fill-in all the time. Whew, this one is hard to take. Um, yeah, let's see how it sounds like. Again, um, instead of playing a fill-in all the time or in every bar, you could do it every four or eight bars. And it's just better for you guys, I promise. <laughs> Tip number three is to play a fill-in that um, doesn't suit or complement the music. I give you an example. Okay, yes, I love extreme examples and um, but you know, you should play fill-ins that definitely make sense and fit the music. So it could sound something like this. Yes, and tip number four is, is <laughs> bashing your hi-hat, like really, really bashing it, like <clears throat> <sighs> it hurts so much. It should be tip number one though, you know, it should be tip number one. It just, it's just awful. I give you an example. And don't do it. Instead, it could sound something like this. And tip number five is not playing rim shots. And this one is kind of goes along with the hi-hat thing. You know, if you're bashing your hi-hat and you are very gentle and soft with the snare drum, you are not grooving. You are not playing the boom chuck. And you should do that. Let's hear how it sounds like.
Okay, here's my last example. It should sound something like this. Those were my five top tips on how to stop sounding like a beginner. I hope you guys enjoyed that small lesson or tutorial or tip session or whatever. And um, yes, stay healthy, stay safe, and I see you guys very, very soon. Bye.